What is going on, people of the internet? This is Devilman bringing you a shooting the shit for September 20th. Hope you all enjoy this. This is the uh, Grand Bazaar Rush. I think I'm defending with a crossbow. I'm just trying to blow up some buildings here to get some crushes. But on to some news. Um, I recently picked up a new microphone. Nice little podcasting microphone here. Uh, it's called a Meteor Mic by Samsung. It's a USB. Um, I enjoy it. It's pretty good if you're looking for a good podcast mic. Um, it's pretty powerful. I'm sitting back a good foot away from it. I was doing some recording the other day, and I was sitting back a good three feet from it. I was It was right next to my TV, and I had the volume down, and I was just talking. Um, and it picks up everything pretty well. It even picked up all the background noise, like the fan going that was nowhere near it. And I'm sure it picked up my daughter and my wife talking. Very powerful. If you're going to get one of these, um, I suggest having a little private room, private area just to make sure that you don't get too much background noise again that is the samson s-a-m-s-o-n meteor mic goes for about 69.99 at best buy it's like 76 bucks without, after tax um pick it up if you want a good deal on a microphone you need one um i enjoy it very well cheap good quality product yes thankfully my light wife was allowing me to purchase this microphone i needed one so i didn't have to keep plugging in my turtle beaches back and forth um, so definitely enjoy this. Uh, I plan on doing, starting to do Let's Play videos. Uh, I think we'll start with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows for the PlayStation 3 coming up next week. I think it's finally released for the PlayStation 3. I don't know why they, I hate timed exclusivity, but they're releasing it, I believe, uh, tomorrow, or uh, Tuesday, the 20, what is it, third or fourth, something like that, when the PSN updates. Um, I'll get home and I'll start making that as soon as I can get some privacy. Um, I do enjoy Ninja Turtles. I heard a couple of bad reviews. Uh, I want to get my two cents into it and see if I enjoy it or not. See what the game's meant for me. You might see here some voices going on in the background of the videos. I was trying to do a kind of like a let's play with my squad mates and stuff, but for some reason I just couldn't. There, there was no way to balance the levels and the, the the options of Battlefield 3 to make the headphone the, the chat volume louder than the game sounds so i kind of had to scrub it um hopefully i can get somebody's that will want to do some videos like this and uh we can do it on from trillo or whatever a uh, different voice over ip service so we can actually get some decent recording in so you guys uh don't just have to hear my shitty voice doing all this stuff now for some finally good news sony came out the other day saying that they will allow uh, HDMI external recording through like Elgato, the game recorder, or uh, what is it like the Hop Pouch HDV, whatever the fuck it is. Um, they said um, that they're gonna work to get the HDCP, that's the embedded coding that prevents that kind of recording. They're gonna remove it from gameplay videos for, for gameplay, but I think they're gonna try to keep it in for like Blu-ray movies and stuff to try to avoid piracy. I understand it's no big deal; it's just business. But um, it it will be nice to be able to get a recorder. I mean, it's not gonna be at launch. They're gonna patch it in, which is fine because it might take me a couple days to get a PS4, and it'll definitely take me a couple days to get an HDV, uh, HDMI only uh, uh, recorder. I, th I think I'm still using uh, HD PVR with the component cables, so um, definitely looking forward to that. Uh, um, I'm hoping it'll still be good. I'm hoping there's going to be some sort of workaround to get the Turtle Beaches to work, too, um, so I don't have to go buy new ones. Uh, I'm thinking about getting the adapter, see if that works, but times are tight, money's tight, uh, so we'll see when we get there. Other interesting news from Sony, I guess SOE. Um, apparently they're going to take a stance on your behavior outside of their games, and they're going to start banning people for abusive behavior outside of their games. So I guess if you're a DCUO fan or something, or another one of their games, and they've proved you are who you are on like Twitter or Facebook or whatever, and you're saying a bunch of racist or sexist or whatever, you're just being a general jackass, they might ban you for it. Um... I think it's just them trying to puff their chest. I think they're just saying, hey, we're going to do this, so be good. Um, hopefully it'll get rid of some of the toxic behavior in, in gaming. And um, I don't think that they'll actually ban people. 
Um, I, I think you'd have to be really, really a bad, toxic person to, to get banned for it. That is all the news I have. Now we're going to go into some personal stuff. Um, that's kind of on topic here. Um, toxic players. I will admit that I am a toxic player. I know this. Um, I try my best not to show it, but there will be times where the shit that comes out of my mouth will stun even me when I'm playing stuff like Battlefield or uh, I don't play Call of Duty anymore. I've put too many holes in my wall because of Call of Duty, but I definitely don't play it anymore. Um, definitely I'm a Battlefield guy through and through, but I, I am a toxic player. I am trying my damnedest to stop. Um, it's just the way I am. I get sometimes a little over competitive. I apologize if I played with you and you've heard some foul shit come out of my mouth. Um, it, it is tough. It is tough. Definitely tough. Um, definitely if you're... It, the first step is recognizing that you're a toxic player. And, and if you know you're a toxic player, try your best to stop. Like, uh, I have my turtle beaches. I mute myself half the time because I know open mic system and the shit that comes out of my mouth, people don't need to hear. And that's fair. I, I can take the half a second to flip the switch to the mute. Um, definitely... Definitely throw in some self-reflection if you, if you think you might be a toxic player. And even ask some friends, like, hey, do I say some shit online? Do I, do I get on your nerves? And you'll be surprised. Someone's like, yeah, a little bit. You know, we, we put you on mute a couple times. So uh, definitely check that out. Definitely look in the mirror and see if you're that kind of player. Because it's pretty damaging to communities. You know, you know it's, it's pretty damaging to friends. I used to be a clan leader not once but twice. And just my toxic gameplay, my toxic attitude really killed the clan. Really just killed the clan twice. And, um, yeah, you know, I apologize if you're in the clan. It was called Ape back in the day. Ape, all people equal. And I do believe uh, I took the reins and tried to lead it. And it's a horrible leader. I apologize. And, like I said, definitely, definitely try to not be such a toxic player if you are that person. Put yourself on mute. Um, try to, uh, try to curb your exclusive, just gotta kill, gotta kill, fuck you guys, and all that shit. So. And finally, I'd like to talk about, it's a rough topic, I hate talking about it. Oh, I don't hate talking about it, I just, I hate bringing it up. But um, I, I definitely have to talk about it. I'm very political. I'm very non-religious. I'm very anti-religion. Um, it's just the way I am. I'm an atheist slash agnostic. I, I have a hard time believing that some deity created this giant, massive universe for uh, a planet full of beings that to us in any sort of scale we would literally be smaller than atoms to him um, that's just the, what I believe um, I, I try not to I don't force it on anybody but that being said um, I live in an area where it's very conservative and I'm kind of centrist slash liberal um, it's very conservative out here very Christian-y out here and it's something I've chosen to live with. I can deal with it. It's no big deal. But um, towards parenting and religion, I, I would hope that I'm doing the right thing. And I'm not raising my daughter atheist. I'm not raising her agnostic. Um, my wife and I definitely talked about it, and we decided to raise our daughter to let her believe, let her pick what she wants to believe, what gives her comfort at night, and I think, I, I hope we're doing a good job, I, I hope she keeps some of our, um, liberal attitude towards people like gays and, uh, and minorities and all that other crap where we think everybody should be equal, there should be no second class citizens, um, I'm the same way with money and, and the top 1%. I, I, I believe that it shouldn't be redistributed, but there should be more regulations to punish those who would prey on the weak. Um, you, you, people say, like, people are bad-mouthing Obamacare. Don't, dude, don't bother. But 
it's a good thing. Trust me, it's a good thing. People are no longer going to be dying on the streets unless there's uh, more douchebag companies out there. I think there's The Daily Show just showed some douchebag that owned 21 subways, and instead of giving his uh, workers health care, he's going to cut their hours so they're no longer full-time employees. That's a douchebag thing to do, and I hope he fucking rots. I, I hope it finally bites him in the ass and he just dies. But... If I were to say something to my daughter, and, you know, I make these videos not only as, um, as, I don't, I don't make these videos no longer as just, you know, a way to express myself, but almost as, like, a, a little will, a little, a background, because these things are probably going to be on the internet forever, and if, God forbid, I were to die, um, I would hope my kid, slash kids, would be able to see this and see my point of view on things and be like, hey, my wife, this is your daddy's videos. He made this and you should watch them. They're, they're good things. He explains some things and uh, I hope this gets through to everybody. But um, definitely, I, I hope if you're one of these religious guys that you're not trying to shove religion down everybody's throat and don't badmouth people, don't bully people just because they don't believe the same thing you do. Um, I see it a lot. Um, just, just be good to each other. It's, it's bad that I have to see these Republicans who are going against everything the president is just because he's Blackie Book Mick Blackerton. You know, I, it, you know, I, I don't see black and white. I, I, I can sit there and say I'm colorblind, but I'm, it's not true. I see color, obviously. There are different kinds of people out there, but. I treat everybody as equals. I mean, sometimes I might get a little apprehensive when I see a couple of thugs walking towards me. I'm like, oh crap, are they going to start shit? Because that's just what thugs do, you know? But generally, I just, you know, I think it nothing happens. It's no big deal. I just keep to mine and they keep to theirs and everybody's happy. So, um, just, just... If you're in one of these red counties, red states or something, please, please, start voting blue. These guys don't need to be in power anymore. There's a bunch of people out there who are like, no to Obamacare, but if you want an abortion, we're going to make you have a medical procedure because we're the government and we want to be in your health care decisions. But not Obamacare. It's, it's so redundant, so, like... If you're in a blue state, please, or if you're in a red state or a purple state, please vote blue from now on. Get these lunatics, get these tea party ears out of our governments. They're, they're eroding the fabric of our governments. That's the only thing I can say. I'm um, getting to the end of this video, so be good to each other. Um, treat each other kindly, and I'll see you guys on the next one.